Welcome to the AI Tech Spot. In the last video, we saw how the machine stores images in the machine and how Python reads the image. In this video, we are going to see three methods for feature extraction from image data. The first one is grayscale pixel values as features. And the second one is the mean pixel value of channels. The third one is extracting edge features. First, let us see how grayscale pixel values works. The simplest way to create features from an image is to use these raw pixel values as separate features. Consider the same example for our image the number 8, the dimension of the image is 28x28. Can you guess the number of features for this image? The number of features will be the same as the number of pixels. Hence, that number will be 784. Now here's another curious question. How do we arrange these 784 pixels as features? Well, we can simply append every pixel value one after the other to generate a feature vector. Let us take an image in Python and create these features for that image. I used imred method in Python to read image and image. Shape method to get the dimension of the image. The image shape here is 650x450. Hence, the number of features should be 297,000. We can generate this using the reshape function from NumPy where we specify the dimension of the image. Let us move to the second method called mean pixel value of channels. While reading the image in the previous section, we had set the parameter as gray equals true, so we only had one channel in the image and we could easily append the pixel values. Let us remove the parameter and load the image again. This time, the image has a dimension 660, 450, 3, where 3 is the number of channels. We can go ahead and create the features as we did previously. Instead of using the pixel values from the three channels separately, we can generate a new matrix that has the mean value of pixels from all three channels. By doing so, the number of features remains the same and we also take into account the pixel values from all three channels of the image. Let us code this out in Python. We will create a new matrix with the same size 660x450, where all values are initialized to zero. This matrix will store the mean pixel values for the three channels. We have a 3D matrix of dimension 660x450x3, where 660 is the height, 450 is the width and 3 is the number of channels. To get the average pixel values, we will use a for loop. The new matrix will have the same height and width but only one channel. Now we can follow the same steps that we did in the previous section. We append the pixel values one after the other to get a 1D array. Let us move to the third method called extracting edge features. Consider that we are given the image and we need to identify the objects present in it. As a human, we easily have recognized the objects in an instant, a dog, a car, and a cat. What are the features that you considered while differentiating each of these images? The shape could be one important factor, followed by color or size. What if the machine could also identify the shape as we do? A similar idea is to extract edges as features and use that as the input for the model. I want you to think about this for a moment, how can we identify edges in an image? Edges basically where there is a sharp change in color. Look at the image. I have highlighted two edges here. We could identify the edge because there was a change in color from white to brown in the right image and brown to black in the left. And as we know, an image is represented in the form of numbers. So, we will look for pixels around which there is a drastic change in the pixel values. To identify if a pixel is an edge or not, we will simply subtract the values on either side of the pixel. For this example, we have the highlighted value of 85. We will find the difference between the values 89 and 78. Since this difference is not very large, we can say that there is no edge around this pixel. Now consider the pixel 125 highlighted image, 
Since the difference between the values on either side of this pixel is large, we can conclude that there is a significant transition at this pixel and hence it is an edge. Now the question is, do we have to do this step manually? No, there are various kernels that can be used to highlight the edges in an image. The method we just discussed can also be achieved using the PWT kernel. Check out the description box I have attached a link for PWT kernel. If you have any doubt type your questions in the comment box. Next video we will see the basics of OpenCV. OpenCV is one of the popular libraries in computer vision. Thanks you.